Hello guys, Haruna here. In this screencast, we're going to look at Ether channel link aggregation. That is bundling multiple Ethernet links to gain more bandwidth. But before we start, let's look at some basic information about Ether channel. So Ether channel is uh, Cisco's proprietary term for port channeling, which is the process of aggregating two to eight Ethernet links to increase bandwidth and redundancy. Notice this bandwidth and redundancy is basically the major aim of configuring Ether channels. And uh, there are two versions, the IEEE version and the Cisco version, that's the proprietary version. The IEEE version is the link aggregation control protocol, while the Cisco version is a port aggregation protocol. So the difference simply is if you are working on devices that are not Cisco devices, you will have to use the IEEE version. And uh, let's see what more information do we have here. Bonded links are treated as a single link by layer 2 STP. So the spanning tree protocol will treat the logical link, that's the physical links that you've bundled together as if it's just a single link. Looking at the network we have here, we have four Ethernet interfaces. So we're going to bundle these four to work as just a single logical interface to achieve more bandwidth. And what more do we have? Okay, fast Ethernet or gigabit Ethernet interfaces can be combined as, as long as they have the same speed, VLAN configuration, and uh, duplex settings. Assuming the interfaces belong to a VLAN, they should all be on the same VLAN. Let's see if it's if they're on VLAN 10, then the other interfaces should also be on VLAN 10 for you to bundle the links together. What more? Okay, the, mo the main aim is to achieve more bandwidth and resilience. We've mentioned that before. So basically, we have uh, different modes for the IEEE version and for the Cisco proprietary version for the IEEE version, which is link aggregation control protocol, we just have uh, active and passive. We are not going to look into that. We are configuring the Cisco version because the devices we have here are Cisco switches. So for the Cisco version, the modes we have are the auto, desirable, and on. Auto will set the interface to respond to PACP negotiation packets, okay. but the interface will start negotiations on its own. That is, if the other end of the connection is set to desirable, that's if the other, other end is actively sending PACP connection packets, then this end that is set to auto will negotiate and create the port channel. And desirable sets the interface to actively attempt to negotiate the PAGP connection. Now let's just dive in and start with the configuration. So we have switch one here and uh, switch two. They are all multi-layer switches. There are three switches. So the terminal here, we are on switch one. So first, let's start by checking the bandwidth for one of the interfaces. So let's go in enable and show, show interfaces. Let's just check uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Show interfaces fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Uh, we have tons of 
information here but what we really want to see is uh, the bandwidth so if you check up here you see the bandwidth here we have 100 mbps that's uh, 100,000 kilobits let's come down here oh yes uh, 100 mbps that's it's operating on full duplex and uh, this the bandwidth that's the speed so if you check fast ethernet 0 slash 2 3 4 they are all operating at the same uh, full duplex and with 100 mbps so now what we should do is start with switch one configure terminal and uh, let's go into the interfaces interface range first ethernet zero slash one two four that's the range zero from first and zero slash one to first and zero slash four okay now remember we have two versions of ether channel that's uh, hpo e and uh, cisco which is pack p so now we will set our switch to use the port aggregation protocol that's pack p since we're using cisco switch so the command is uh, channel protocol if you use a question mark you can see it you have the options showing either you use lacp or pagp that's for school devices so what we are using is pack p so channel protocol pack p then we have to set the mode so we we'll use the channel group command so that this command will let us specify what's the port number so interface like interface we have first and zero slash one what do we want to call this logical interface so let's say channel group or let me just show you the options we have you can set 1 to 48 this particular switch allows you to set 1 to 48 so channel group 6 then you can also set the mode so that's the mode i was trying to explain if we're on switch one let's set it to the mode let's set the mode to desirable then on switch two probably we can set it to auto just so you can just negotiate the link so mode desirable so it's bringing down notice this slide is bringing down the status slide is bringing down the interfaces and back on again we've changed the mode so now we can just save this right let's move to switch two on switch two basically we just do the same thing figure terminal let's go to the interface uh, interface range first turn it zero slash one to four let's set the channel let's set the protocol to pack p then channel group channel group uh, six the mode we are setting it to auto since on switch one we've set it to desirable then auto on this other switch will negotiate the link so notice all the link now this is really interesting you if you look at this you see all the link is all now down it's trying to negotiate it's saying the packets right now the packets pack p packets are being transferred between the switches to create the link so the status changing red to amber then hopefully to green that's if we've done everything correctly let's keep our eyes on this to see 
what happens. Yep, where the green, this other end, is still trying to negotiate. So what's happening right now is this the four, the four Ethernet interfaces we have are being bundled into a single logical interface. So the bandwidth should change. That's will I will show you how we can verify that and how to see what we've configured. Right now the link is still not up. Let's wait. Yeah, so now we have uh, our port channel. You can see no port is in blocking state. Span spanning tree protocol is now seeing this link that's just as a single uh, interface. So now we can leave here and write. So we have a few commands, show commands to verify what's happening with the ether channel we've just configured. Uh, the first one to check, let's see, let's check our bandwidth again, since that's what we started with. Let's, let's check to see, we can use show interfaces, basically same command we used earlier, show interfaces, but this time around, remember we are not focusing on a single fast ethernet interface we have a port channel now the bonded link so that's what we're going to check so the command will be show interfaces use port channel our port channel is six if you hit enter you have lots of information here but what we really want to see is uh, the bandwidth so if we if you look at this you can see the bandwidth has increased compared if you if you compare this to what we had uh, earlier using a single interface other commands you can use to verify to see what's happening with the ether channel you can use show ether channel uh, show ether channel port channel so if you hit enter we have lots of information here. So what we have here is uh, the group is six because we're using, that's the number we're using. Then port channels in the group, we have just one, that's the port channel six. And uh, so lots of information here, what protocol are we using? If we're using the IEEE LACP, here would have been LACP, then the port state, it's port channel, we haven't, there is no port security, we haven't configured any port security, so it's disabled. And uh, interestingly, you get to see the interfaces, that's the ports that are bundled in this port channel, that's the Ethernet interface that are bundled, fast and zero slash one to four. And what more command? Let's see which other one. Show status, okay, okay. What else, what else? Um, yeah, I, basically that's it. Show interfaces, ether channel. We've seen the interfaces and we've, we've seen the bandwidth. And uh, I think now it's just being treated as a single logical interface with a much more higher bandwidth. Okay, let's just save this, right, and on switch one, two, we basically have the same information so we can just show interfaces show interfaces uh, port channel six if you hit enter you can see the bandwidth let's just save this so 
guys i think uh, we're done that's it it's really kind of straightforward actually if you get what's happening so let's say you have some clients on this part of the network trying to access a bunch of uh, servers here and uh, two switches are separating the two you can actually do this to increase the bandwidth between the two networks that the servers and the clients or the other end of the network can be any device so that's it if you have any question you can drop it below that's the comment section or any issue may have with configuring this i'm going to be more than willing to help with that so i think uh, that's it for now like the video if you find it helpful share and subscribe bye